The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is Father John Zolsdorf. Each day during Advent, I'm offering a five-minute podcast to help you in your observance of this important liturgical season. Advent is a time to prepare for the coming of the Lord. From Dogma und Verkündigung by Joseph Ratzinger John the Baptist and Mary are the two great personages typifying our existence in Advent. They, therefore, dominate the liturgy of Advent. Let us first gaze on John the Baptist. Challenging and active, he stands before us, a type of the manly vocation. In harsh terms, he demands metanoia, a radical transformation of attitudes. Those who would be Christians must be transformed ever again. Our natural disposition, indeed, finds us always ready to assert ourselves, to pay like with like, to put ourselves at the center. Those who want to find God need again and again that inner conversion, that new direction. And this applies also to the total outlook on life. Day by day we encounter the world of visible things. It assaults us through billboards, broadcasts, traffic, and all the activities of daily life to such an enormous extent that we are tempted to assume that there is nothing else but this. Yet the truth is that what is invisible is greater and much more valuable than anything visible. One single soul, in Pascal's beautiful words, is worth more than the entire visible universe. But in order to have a living awareness of this, we need conversion. We need to turn around inside, as it were, to overcome the illusion of what is visible and to develop the feeling, the ears under the eyes, for what is invisible. This has to be more important than anything that bombards us day after day with such exaggerated urgency. Metanoiete, change your attitude so that you may see God's presence in the world. Change your attitude so that God may dwell in you and through you in the world. John himself was not spared this painful process of change, of turning around. To what a great extent is this also the portion of the priest and indeed of every Christian who proclaims Christ, that we too do know him and yet do not know him. The Nativity message is the message not only of joy, but of THE joy, the great joy which all the people of the world have always expected without fully realizing what it was. It is the joy of eschatological fulfillment which we seek in the depths of our hearts from the moment that we are beings endowed with conscious life. Now in the Nativity of Christ, the great joy is announced, in which all the ambiguities are swept aside and all men are confronted with the clear possibility of a decision that will not only help them to put together the pieces of lives wrecked in individual failure, but will even make sense out of the lives of all men of all time. Thomas Merton Thank you for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another Advent cast. In the meantime, please pray for me as I will for you.